this comes on the iPad. There's a drag and dictate for the iPad and it's absolutely free right now. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, there's Dragon. Click on it. There's the app for the iPad. It also comes on your mobile devices. And so here's some past messages. It does store the messages that I've recorded earlier if I want to. You do have to have an internet connection in order for this to work. That little dark screen bit you saw right there was it connecting to the internet because it does want to access your profile information off of the web because it doesn't store it locally here on the device. Um, and then what you do is uh, you just hit the record button if you want to record to add to this current note. Uh, that's where I just read out some numbers earlier. But you can also click this little plus button. Tap on that. Doop and I got a new one. Then all I have to do is tap this big button for tap to dictate. So I do that. The microphone's right up here. In fact, the little thing will pop up showing me that. There we go. And so I'm going to talk for a minute and see how well it actually recognizes what I am saying. And when you put a pause in there, it automatically stops. Now here's what it says. Every now and so I'm going to talk for a minute and see how well it actually recognizes what I am saying. So I got a part of it right. I found that this free drag and dictate for the iPad is not quite as accurate as the Mac speech, but it might be that you can, you know, tone, hone your speaking style a little bit to get it a little more accurate. Either way, it's easier to go back and just edit out a word here or there than it is to type all of that stuff out. Tap, 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 one word done. Tap, 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 as you would have on the iPad or on the iPhone, iPod Touch, those types of devices. So this can be a great way to be able to save you some time to be able to just speak it directly. Let me try it again. Let me try reading uh, a previous statement that I did before. Uh, let me just uh, hit a, a new one here. Hit the re record button to be able to start again. When dictating, you need to speak clearly and naturally, period. You must be consistent and avoid words like um and ah, period. New paragraph. But here's what we have here. It says, um, when dictating, you need to speak clearly and naturally. You must be consistent and avoid words like him and all. I can understand them not knowing um and ah, because those were examples of words that you shouldn't use. But you see, it got most of that right. It's not exactly 100% perfect, but neither is you're going to be your typing with your thumbs on those little devices. So this might be a time saver for you. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It might be worth trying. Now, some people have had a problem with some of the security issues related to using this device. However, I wanted to point out to you, let me quit out a word here. Um, if you go to, in fact, let me quit out of Mac Speech here and quit. It's a problem you know. Don't save that. That was just gibberish. So anyway, on their support page for Dragon Dictation, and you come down here to Privacy, one of the things it does is when you first set it up, it does set you up to um, upload the names of your contacts in your address book. Now, some people have gotten paranoid about this. If you go on iTunes, uh, you'll see a lot of comments on here. Let me scroll down. There's different comments in here. Some of these talk about it censors you, uh, talks about things that uh, it take uploads your private information, things like that. Well, you can turn that off, so that's not a big issue. It does upload only the names. and only does that to improve the accuracy of the speech recognition that it does. It's not trying to get the email addresses of people and spam them. It's not doing it for those types of purposes, not even uploading the email information, just the names and the contacts. For instance, D. Lee, it wouldn't know how to spell that unless you had D period L E E in there, which is my name. That's what I go by, D. Lee. And so beard, it would get because that's a noun. But Dealy, it would have trouble with. So it's just trying to improve the accuracy of it. However, if you don't like that and you're a little paranoid about what it's doing there on your iPad, well, let me show you how you can turn that off. Let me go back here. For you so you can see it a little better. And close out. If you go to your system preferences, your settings uh, on the iPad, and you scroll on down to dictation, and then you have over here uh, recognize names. If you turn that off, it will delete the stuff off of the server that it has already gotten and it won't upload it anymore. Now, it does try to recognize information about your, your type of speech and uploads it and keeps it on their server. So it's just kept in the cloud. The same way the stuff you do in Google Docs is kept in the cloud or Exchange server stuff is kept in the cloud. That's what this sort of thing does. And 
if you want to reset it because now you don't want to use the speech recognition but you do find that your spouse wants to use it well then you just click this uh, reset enrollment you just turn that on and then it'll reset it so it'll start fresh for the new person to be able to use so if you go back and forth between different people you want to make sure you reset enrollment otherwise it might get a little confused to the speech patterns of one person versus another especially if one of you is from another part of the country and has a strong accent <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully this gives you a couple ideas of ways that you can save your fingers. Don't need a typewriter in order to use the iPad to type. You can use the speech recognition and probably even do it a lot faster, especially you just have to do a little bit of training to say things like period and comma. All right. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions about this or any other device dealing with computers, the iPad, all that technology, feel free to send me a question at questions at askthetechies.com. Thanks for watching.